Thank you so much guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video for the first time and you have not yet subscribed, please just support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this channel to reach out to others. And to my subscribers, to my loyal viewers who are watching this video also, I just want to take this opportunity guys to thank you so much for your continued support. I will never take that support for granted. So thank you so much. Feel very much welcome. Now, if there is one politician here in Kenya who you will never predict and you will never understand his next political moves, is none other than the retired president Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. I'm saying this simply because I have come to realize that Uhuru Kenyatta's political decisions are always on the opposite direction. And that is why if you have been monitoring closely Uhuru Kenyatta's politics, he has always been failing terribly, politically speaking. You know, from the little knowledge or from the small knowledge that I know about politics is that for you, if you want to become successful in politics, you must ensure that each and every political moves, each and every political decisions that you make should not come from you as an individual and it should always come from uh, it should always be based on the decisions of your community or the region that you come from and if your community if your region if your tribe that you are leading that always looks up to you you know rejects or uh, uh, or um resist any political move then do not force them do not ever ever force them to make a decision that they don't want to do so like for example in this case of the retired president of the republic of kenya uhuru kenyatta his community the kikumi community or the mount kenya region they have always wanted uhuru mwege kenyatta to associate himself politically with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance or on William Ruto's side. And that is why in the just concluded 2022 general election, they voted overwhelmingly for uh, William Ruto simply because one of the reasons is because Uhuru Kenyatta was supporting the Azimio Lo Moja candidate Raila Molo Dinga. And recently, the Jubilee Party members or the leaders there were demanding that their political party leader Uhuru Kenyatta to officially distance his party, the Jubilee Party, from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance simply because these leaders were totally facing rejection from the Mount Kenya region. The Mount Kenya region people were resisting these leaders. For example, we have the former member of uh, the National Assembly of Kieni constituency, Kanini Kega, who officially defected from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And he also met with, they had a meeting with Dr. William Samoy Ruto. We have Honorable Sabina Chege there, who officially defected from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And even the, the, the Jubilee Party Secretary General, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, made it very clear that they are making, they are discussing their next political move in the Jubilee Party from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. I don't know what those discussions, how they ended up. Because even when Raila Odinga was calling for demonstration or public consultations, the way he calls it, the Jubilee Party Secretary General came out clean to deliver a strong message from the Jubilee Party officials that demonstration or uh, holding some chaos in this country is not an advocate of the Jubilee Party and it is not part of the agenda of the Jubilee party administration but the question here is despite the fact that all these people are resisting Raila Molodinga I saw an article on the newspaper yesterday that Uhuru Kenyatta is organizing the demonstrations for Raila Molodinga it is actually a shame according to me simply because we all know that Uhuru Kenyatta is the high representative of or the chairman of the peace envoy of the entire Africa.
And it is kind of a weird thing when you see Uhuru Kenyatta advocating for peace in other countries, solving disputes, signing out, uh, signing some peace deals with 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 different uh, countries here in in Africa. Yet in his own country, Kenya, he is advocating, he is planning for chaos and de and demonstrations. It's really really embarrassing. But the question here is. Why is Uhuru Kenyatta supporting Raila Odinga's demonstration? Why is he funding and organizing this demonstration for Raila Molo Odinga Chini Amaji? That is the, what we are going to discuss on this video. But before that, just a reminder that you have, if you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, kindly support me by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Please press that notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video on this platform, YouTube will automatically notify you, ladies and gentlemen. And, you, and also, after listening to this video, let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. According to me, the reason as to why Uhuru Kenyatta is doing all this, why is he not joining the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance like what his community would want him to do, is because of Rigiji, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa. His fallout with Rigiji you know, Rigi G was his personal, the PA, his personal assistant. And he defected or he fell out with Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta simply because Uhuru Kenyatta held or had that handshake in 2018 with Raila Amolo Dinga. That was the beginning of their fallout. And Rigadi Gashagwa has been going rounds, attacking Uhuru Kenyatta so badly, publicly, in front of everyone else. So I think... The problem of Uhuru Kenyatta, maybe it could be, it is not uh, William Samuel Ruto. Maybe the biggest problem of Uhuru Kenyatta is none other than Rigadi Gashagwa. And that is why he is making all these political mistakes or all is these political decisions, weird decisions there. That could be the first reason. And the second reason, ladies and gentlemen, he is the opposition chairman. He is the Azimio Laumoja Alliance chairman. And as the opposition I think he's just doing his own duties. He's just, you know, performing his work as the opposition uh, side. You know, his work is to hold government into, uh, to, to provide oversight of the ruling government, you know, and to ensure that each and everything that is going on in the government, he must oppose it because he is in the opposition side. Even if he is not coming out clean to declare or to, to, to perform all these functions of the opposition, he is supporting Raila Odinga and the Azimio Moja Alliance secretly. Point number three, ladies and gentlemen, it could be because of the strong handshake. It is an indication that when Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta entered into the handshake, it was not because, only because it was not limited to the 2022 general elections only. But they are indicating that it is going beyond the 2022 general election. So that strong handshake is what is keeping Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Amolo Dinga to still work together in the opposition side. They should not betray one another. You will never expect, you know, Raila Odinga to join William Ruto's government and you will never find out that Uhuru Kenyatta betrays Raila Odinga and to join William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa government simply because of that handshake. That is the, the that point. And the fourth and uh, my very, very last point here is maybe Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto have not yet solved their political you know, fallout. You know, the political fallout between Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, <laughs> no one saw it coming because these guys in 2013, in 2017, these guys were still together. But immediately after the handshake is when Uhuru Kenyatta had to sideline officially his deputy by then, William Ruto, and decided to work closely with 
Raila Molo Dinga and the, frust the frustrated William Ruto so much together with his allies in the Jubilee administration. I don't want to, to, to remind you about that one because I will be wasting a lot of time because each and every person knows what happened in the Jubilee administration, the divisions there. And William Ruto, he was declared persona non grata in the Jubilee administration, which led by um, the, was he the Secretary General uh, Tuju, Raphael Tuju. And that message he delivered to Dr. William Ruto, I personally believe that he was being sent by none other than Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. So I personally believe that because of that fallout and because of William Ruto humiliating Raila Molodinga and, Will and Uhuru Kenyatta badly in the just concluded 2022 general election, I personally believe that that is why they have not solved there are issues there, and politics is all about interest. Without interest, then nothing will happen, politically speaking. You will not be together in political in one political side. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Do you support Uhuru Kenyatta funding or organizing or supporting Raila Molodinga's um, demonstration secretly?